My name is Hamish. I'm 35 years old. In less than a week, I'll be dead. In a way, I'm dead already. Look at that poor bastard on the kitchen table, being operated on by an unqualified parrot and a drug-dependent cat. Funny thing is, this is the high point of my day. It's all downhill from here. So that's a vacuum cleaner. And this is my life. Ha! <laughs> You'd think I wouldn't miss it so much. It's hopeless. It's jammed solid. It won't budge. What are you going to do, then? Well, we have a difficult decision to make. You mean...? Yes. It's either the patient or the hoover. I can't save both of them. What'll it be? We really need that hoover. Yes, we do. Nice people, eh? Or at least I thought they were. Just one short week ago. This is my day, this is my Do you believe in life after death? No, because if there was life after death, we wouldn't call death, death, because it would still be life. So I think what you're asking is, is there life after life? Which is a really stupid question. Don't know, do you? Of course I don't fucking know. I'm not dead, am I? Although I suspect that having a conversation with you is tantamount to being dead. Anyway, why this sudden interest in death? I'm in a bit of trouble. What sort of trouble? Money trouble. How much money? Three thousand pounds. What? Lost it on a horse in a 115. What horse? The Stumbler, I think his name was. Why the hell did you bet three thousand pounds on a horse called the Stumbler? I thought he would win. Where did you get the money in the first place? Borrowed it. I got a bookie in a smoke. Bungs me the old pony for the horses, see? Will you please stop talking like you're in the Sweeney? Sorry, sort of goes with the image. Only if you're a c**t. Thing is, He's a violent psychopath who hurts people who don't pay him back. Oh dear, oh dear. And you owe him £3,000? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Theoretically, I owe him £3,000. Technically, you do. What? I used your name to borrow the money. Could you run that by me just one more time? If you don't come up with £3,000 by the weekend, you're very likely to be dead. I see. Sorry. And that's all he said. Sorry. As if that could possibly make up for everything. Oi, limp dick. You see my tablets anywhere? No. Oh, this is the cat. She's a Persian blue, but I prefer to think of her as a crazy, psychotic bitch. No, I haven't seen your tablets. Are you sure? Because if you have and you're not telling me, I'm going to put a skewer through your knob. You're not very good in the mornings, are you? So, have you seen them? A long-term dependence on prescription drugs can actually be more harmful than beneficial, according to a report in my magazine. Really? I wasn't aware that Big Lady Flaps Monthly was a medical publication. I'll have you know, that's a quality read. It's a spangle mag. So? It's not like it carries any kind of intelligent editorial. Yes, it does. Where, in between pictures of Miss Megamuff and Sally Supersnatch, Actually, it focuses on a number of important issues. What's important about seeing a couple of readers' wives being back-scuttled with a cricket stump? Well, it's important to me. Classy people, my friends. Is it any wonder I started to feel desperate? How's it, mate? Oh, this is the parrot. He's not really a friend. He's more of a featherless prick who hangs around with us trying to be cool. He can't help how he is. Can I ask you something? Yes, but you'll have to make it quick. Why have you got a kitchen utensil on your head? I should have thought that was obvious. Not really. Just do me a favour and switch on the wall plug, will you? Sure. Goodbye, cruel world. Here we go, then. <laughs> oh, bugger. Did I tell you about the time I went to college? You? Yeah, me. I didn't know you could take an honours degree in wanking. If you must know, I was training to be a guide dog for the blind. 
No, sorry. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I was doing all right. Until the accident. You were in an accident? I was doing my first year practical exam with a partially sighted lady from Leicestershire. I got her halfway across town without a single bump when we reached this zebra crossing. Go on. I'm not sure that I can. It's very painful to tell. Actually, it's very painful to listen to. We were at the crossing when suddenly, down the road, I saw Kasia, a particularly attractive Hungarian poolie from the third year. And? Well, you must understand that I had a tremendous respect for her. I.e. you were trying to get into her pants. For 12 months solid, yeah. So I took my chances and popped over to see her. The blind lady didn't seem to notice, so I thought she'd be OK for a moment. But? At that precise moment, the local milk float had the one and only mechanical failure in its otherwise unblemished 17-year history. Right on the zebra crossing. By the time I got back, there was low-fat yoghurt and body parts all over the place. Well, what did you do? Well, I tried to bury what was left of her, didn't I? And I'd have got away with it if I hadn't left that bastard white stick poking out of the ground. I'm surprised they didn't have you destroyed. Ah, well, they tried to. But I was rescued from the police pound. It is a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done. <laughs> fuck! Fuckity, 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 fuck! So, you were rescued by animal liberation people? In an almost military-style operation, they effected my escape and took me back to their secret base in the woods. For the next three years, we went on a series of thrilling adventures together. What sort of adventures? Well, there was the time we rescued those children from the mine. The mine, yes. The day we smashed an international drugs cartel operating out of Colombia. Yes. And one memorable weekend where we chaired a secret peace initiative between members of the Israeli government and the Palestine Liberation Organisation. Eventually, though, I had to be rescued again, this time by the RSPCA. Why? It was Claire. She started touching me in unusual places. Such as? The kitchen, on the landing and in the shed. You're making this up, aren't you? Yeah. You know, I think you are possibly the most irritating person I have ever met. Hello. I stand corrected. Have you seen him? Have we seen who? Hamish. No. Why? I think he's cleaning the oven. Only... He must be doing it really thoroughly, because he's had his head stuck in there for ten minutes. Oh, my God! Look at me, trying to take the easy way out. What a loser. I'll realise in a minute that it's an electric oven. God, that's hot! To recap, you shafted me over a gambling debt, I owe £3,000 to a dangerous criminal, and I may soon be dead. What do you suggest I do? Make a will. When is this character likely to turn up demanding his money? Any moment... now. Oh, my God! Well, there's only one thing for it. You'll have to explain to him what happened, and we'll work out a way to pay him back. If we stick together, we'll be all right. Yes? Bastard. All right. I'll deal with this myself. I mean, how violent can he be? How did it happen? Bad gambling debt, I believe. You mean that he shoved a hoover pipe up his rear end over a debt? Yeah. Yes, it was a painful and humiliating experience. But I had to do it to him. What? You thought it was me with a hoover pipe up my ass? Oh, no. You see... I discovered it was all one big joke. It was Trevor's idea of a sense of humour. Well, he's not laughing now. <coughs> and as for me, I fell over in the bath, knocked myself unconscious and drowned. What a bummer. I guess I could be pretty pissed off about what happened to me. But it's hard to stay mad when there's so much beauty in the world. <laughs>